Today, we're going to be finding percent of a number. This is a ratio. Percents are ratios. They're a part out of the whole. Okay, so if I said I had 50% of my class that are girls, I know that half of them are girls. And I would take that ratio and make an equivalent ratio to figure out how many girls that actually is. So we're going to be using our proportions. So if you look over here at this manila colored box, our proportions are going to look a little different. Instead of girls to total and percent out of 100, we're going to use the word is and of. And we kind of have to use to be detectives to figure out the is and the of and the percent. And we're going to walk through this and start replacing all of those words. So I'm going to write it here so you guys can see how I'm replacing. I'm going to put P for percent, and then I'm going to put 100. And over here in the manila color box, I have the percent sign. But over here, I do not need to put the percent sign unless you really want to. I just know that this is going to be out of 100%. So we're going to look at this example, and I'm going to start replacing all of my parts so you can see how this works. What is 15% of 20? Okay, so the first thing I know right off the bat is I have 15%. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and erase my P for percent. And I'm going to go ahead and write the 15. Okay, that is my percent. Okay, I can also see the word of 20. Okay, so of 20. And that's my whole. That's how much I have. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to raise my of. And I'm going to go ahead and put 20. All right. So the last thing I'm looking for is my is. And if you see right here, what is. Well, I don't know what what is. We don't know what that is. So that's going to be our variable. So let's go ahead and change our is to our variable. Okay, now we have a proportion that we can solve. Some of us can see how this is going to work just by looking at the numbers. And some of us might need to use our cross multiplication. So let's go ahead and do the cross multiplication. First thing I'm going to do is... Multiply the 15 and the 20, and I'm going to divide it by 100. So 15 times 20 is 300, and 300 divided by 100 is 3. So my x is 3. All right, so now some of you probably saw this before, before we even started. You said, oh, I know that 20 times 5 is 100. So what times five is 15? So that is three. So that makes them equivalent ratios. Three over 20 is equivalent to 15 over 100. So if I made this my word problem, let's say it's the girls in my classroom, and I said, what is the number of girls in my classroom when I have 15% out of 20 students? Well, now I have three girls out of 20 students which is 15% of the 100, okay? All right, let's go ahead and look at another problem. All right, so what is 25% of 90? So again, I'm gonna go ahead and write my is of percent and 100. Let's start decoding this. Okay, so 25% of 90, I know my percent, my percent is 25, so I'm going to replace that with my P. All right, I know my of is 90, so I'm going to replace that, of is 90. And so I don't know, again, what my what is. So that's going to be my variable. All right. So again, some of us might see something that's going on. You can kind of figure out what's going on. Some of us might need to use our cross multiplication. So let's go ahead. We are going to cross multiply 25 and 90. Okay. 
and we're going to divide it by 100. All right, so what is 25 times 90 divided by 100? And we end up getting 22 and a half. Okay, so just a reminder, we can have decimals and fractions in, in our ratios because it's a ratio. We don't have to have everything as a whole number and be nice and tidy. Okay, so now I can say 25% of 90 is 22 and a half. All right, okay, let's go on to example three. Okay, what is 5% of 12? Well, 5% is a really low percent. So that means I'm going to get a really low number compared to 12. And when I'm thinking a really low number compared to 12, I'm thinking maybe like one or eight. So I'm using some of my reasoning skills to kind of figure that out. Okay, so again, let's put our is of percent in 100. Okay, and let's start replacing. All right, again, I know my percent. My percent is five. Okay, I know my of is 12. Where's my of? And I don't know what my, my is, is yet. All right, so let's solve this. Now, this one looks a little bit more challenging because of my numbers and what's going on. So again, so if it looks challenging and you don't know what's going on, you can multiply your cross and divide. So 20 times five divided by 100 is six tenths. Let's make that zero a little bit better. All right, so remember when I took you through the process of thinking what 5% of 12 is? And I said it should be a low number like one. Well, six tenths is pretty close to one. So my answer is gonna make sense. It makes it right, okay? All right, last question. Word problems are favorite. All right, so now this is totally real life. This is something that we go to the store and we see percentages off the price. So Mike went to the store and saw that his shirt was 20% off the price. If the price of the shirt, oops, a little typo there, is $24, what is the amount off? Okay, so again, let's set up our is of percent 100. Okay, so let's go ahead. Automatically, I know the percent. The percent is 20. We know that right there. 20 right there. So let's go ahead and replace the P with the 20. All right, now the price of the shirt is $24. Okay, so what is the amount off? So let's think about this for a minute. It's telling me it is $24, but is that the total price or is that the price off? Well, the price of the shirt is 24. That's the total amount. We want to know what the what is. So you see this of right here? That one's going to go with our $24. So I'm going to go ahead and erase my of. And go ahead and put my $24. And I'm going to go ahead and label that. All right. So again, I want to know what is. What is the is? So that's why the is is blank in this one. It's not because the is is in front of the 24. It's because the what is is what we're trying to find. What is the amount off? Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and... Multiply 20 times 24 and divide it by 100. And we're going to go ahead and get 4.8. Now, this is money. Ooh, let's make that 8 more than 8. That is money. So what do we have to do with money? Yeah, we have to 
add a zero at the end, annex a zero. So it is $4.80 off. If we had put the $24 in the is section, we would have gotten $120. And that would have made sense. We're not going to get $120, um, $124, $120 off a $24 shirt. Okay, so that also will help us check. Ask yourself, does my answer make sense?